The barricade front fenders with flare are for those of you that have a 1997 to 2006 TJ that are looking to swap out your front fenders for something that is going to be completely different from the factory and doesn't have any plastic flare. This is going to be 100% metal. Now this is going to be a pretty involved installation. You are going to be cutting up that factory fender. So I am going to give this a three out of three wrenches. You're going to want to give yourself probably around two hours per side, maybe a little bit less, but you are going to want to make sure that you measure and mark everything properly before making those cuts and then getting these installed and we'll talk more about that installation in just a second. Now a flare like this isn't necessarily going to provide you with any additional unobstructed up travel. On your TJ, Jeep did a really nice job of actually making a little bit of an arch in the factory fender so that that tire is going to be able to travel up as far as possible without making contact with anything metal. Now it may make contact with your flare depending on the type of flare that you have, but that's not really going to limit your up travel at all. This, if anything, is going to give you just a little bit less unobstructed up travel because you have this metal tube here instead of having just a flat piece of metal with an arch cut in it. So this isn't really gonna be for those of you that are, lo that are looking to get any more unobstructed up travel. This is really for those of you that are looking for some additional protection, maybe a different look. Maybe your fenders are starting to rot out. That happens on a lot of TJs and you wanna swap it out for something that gives you a really hardcore off-road look instead of just going with a factory style fender and again these are going to do a really nice job of that if you are somebody who's running some narrow trails you find yourself banging your Jeep off of rocks a lot these are gonna hold up really really well a lot better than those sheet metal factory fenders on your Jeep and like I said before you're not going to have anything plastic that can crack fade rip off or otherwise so this is going to have some function for sure and also an aesthetic change to your Jeep. Now, as far as a new set of front fenders goes, these are gonna be fairly inexpensive. They come out of the box with the powder coat finish ready to get installed on your Jeep. So they are gonna save you some money over a couple of the other options. So let's talk through the construction of these flares. They're gonna be 3 16 inch metal wherever you have flat sheet steel. They are going to be a two inch tube that's 0.12 inch wall thickness, which is pretty much the standard for any type of armor that you would put on your Jeep that's going to be nice and strong. It does have that uh, two stage wrinkle powder coat finish on it right out of the box. It's gonna hold up really well, continue to look good for a good long time. And as you can see over here, it does have this little mesh area built into the flare. That's gonna give you a little bit of additional styling as well. Now, like I said, if anything, this is gonna limit your tire travel just a little bit more than a factory fender would. Now there are some flares out there that actually have a huge arch in this area and those are definitely going to give you a lot more clearance than a factory fender. These ones are flat, they add that two inch tube that hangs down a little bit lower, so that is going to give you a, just a little bit less unobstructed up travel from your tire. So after installing these, you are gonna to wanna to go ahead and check your bump stops. Maybe you have to add just a little bit to keep the tires out of your new fenders. Now these are the version of these with a flare. So you are going to get a three inch flare out of these uh, right out of the box. <clears throat> They're still going to be a little bit narrower than a factory setup with a factory flare, but you are gonna have a flare that's gonna give you some tire coverage and even some additional protection. There is a version of these without the flares that are of course going to be narrower. We have that version from Barricade available as well. Like I said before, I'm gonna go with a three out of three wrenches for this installation, probably around two hours aside, maybe just a little bit less. The first step is going to be removing the fender flare from your Jeep, which you can do by unbolting it. Of course, you will have to uh, remove your turn signal uh, socket and bulb from the turn signal housing, and you are gonna have to figure out what to do with that in order to keep you legal, keep you safe, and keep that marker light in place once you have these installed. We'll talk more about that in just a second. So once you have that flare out of the way, you can go ahead and make a template in order to lay that on top of your fender mark and then make your cuts. Once you have the fender cut, you can go ahead and put your new fender flare in place and there are going to be a couple of holes that you'll have to drill in order to get these bolted to the remainder of your factory fender. So you end up with sort of a hybrid factory fender, aftermarket fender, when you're done with that. Once everything is bolted up, rinse and repeat on the second side. Now these do have a hole in the front of them um, that you can put some sort of marker light that'll be visible from the front, but you are gonna have to get a little bit more creative in order to get a marker light that is visible from the side in order to, again, stay legal and stay safe. These fenders are gonna be right around $300, which I do think is gonna be a pretty fair price for what you're getting here. Again, if you're looking for some additional bells and whistles, you want something that has additional light mounts, 
uh, for those marker lights already built into it. You want a kit that comes with those LED marker lights. You want something that has an arch in it so that you do get some additional up travel uh, for those front tires. All of those flares are available out there on the market and all of them are going to be more expensive than these. So if you're just looking for something a little more basic, this is gonna be a great option. If you want some bells and whistles and you're willing to pay more, those options are available also. So if you're looking for a set of aftermarket tubular metal fenders for your TJ, I definitely recommend taking a look at this set from Barricade and you can find them right here at extremeterrain.com.